हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट परफॉर्मेंस इंडेक्स ऑफ मोल्ड वोल्ट प्लाव दिस इज द इंडेक्स व्हिच एक्चुअली समटाइम्स कम्स इन द गेट एग्जाम सम प्रॉब्लम्स कम्स एक्चुअली व्हेयर इट आस्क्स व्हाट विल बी द परसेंटेज ऑफ चेंज इन परफॉर्मेंस इंडेक्स इफ दिस कंडीशन चेंजेस फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर सेट ऑफ इंप्लीमेंट और मोल्ड वोल्ट प्लाव इन दिस केस सो व्हाट इज परफॉर्मेंस इंडेक्स to compare the performance of different moldable plow of different make and specifications in similar soil types a comparative term called as performance index is used or calculated where we can eliminate all other manufacturing parameters basically when different uh, um, uh, moldable plows are available in the market which one is the best uh, it is it can be uh, find out from the its performance index therefore to Uh, you to you need to test in the laboratory and field condition so that a particular implement has a certain performance index this is the index by which we can find out which one is best suited for our conditions let us see its its formula is given by the test standards according to the is or indian standards 6288 uh, 1971 test code for mold wool plows it is stated that performance index or pi is equivalent to uh, d is the depth a is the area i is the so a no, not the area a is the um, effective field capacity in this case i is the inversion p uh, is the pulverization and d is the draft so d is the depth in depth of cut in centimeter in this according to these standards a is the effective field capacity hectar per day uh, so what are the um, area covered per day that is one, for one day eight hours of operation is taken as the standard a is the effective field capacity uh, then i is the soil inversion in percent we will discuss later what is the inversion p is the soil pulverization in centimeter of penetration by cone penetrator again we will discuss d is the draft of implement in kg foot per centimeter square uh, so which is called also as uh, uh, unit draft so this is the standard formula for performance index you should remember this this is very simple formula just you have to multiply the uh, other things um, except draft at the denominator and others so let us discuss about the uh, parameters in this uh, formula first is d depth of cut so depth of cut is the operation operational uh, depth by which you operate your uh, mold wool plow uh, in the particular uh, field condition so you have to select first the field condition then it should be uniform and then uh, you have to multi uh, you have to take uh, different uh, other mold wool plow of so different sizes so which is to be compared so depth is to be maintained so d let it for a particular in uh, mold wool plow d is the depth of operation or depth of cut then effective field capacity what is effective field capacity that is the actual area covered for a particular uh, tractor or uh, tractor and uh, mold wool plow combination where the actual area covered at least the 4 hours you have to operate in the field so that the actual area will covered and time taken how much area uh, time is taken uh, to cover a particular area or that means if you uh, operate it 4 hours the time will be 4 hours and what is the area actual area covered is how much hectare in hectare you have to find out then this is called the field capacity that is hectare per hour so in the in the in this case the field capacity uh, field capacity is given uh, that is a that is hectare per day but here actually we are finding hectare per hour so you have to multiply by 8 to use in the formula then theoretical field capacity already we know theoretical speed of the uh, implement into effective width of the implement into 3600 for 1 hour 10000 for hectare so that means theoretical field capacity is hectare per hour as we know field efficiency is actual field capacity divided by theoretical field capacity uh, some of the times are lost in during turning then adjusting and everything that is to be taken into account so field efficiency is actual field capacity divided by theoretical field capacity if we know the theoretical field capacity which is very easy to calculate by knowing the uh, actual uh, theoretical speed of the tractor or a particular uh, um, gear Uh, in the no load condition what is the speed that is called the theoretical speed into the effective width of the implement uh, so uh, field efficiency once you know the field efficiency 
uh, for a particular uh, um, implement uh, field efficiency related to ENO, then you can find out the effective field capacity, the theoretical field capacity into field efficiency divided 100. So you can find out the effective field capacity which is needed for the formula to find out the performance index. So now next is the soil inversion or I. So let us have this field, uh, you have to operate your uh, um, moldable plow. So this is the field, then weeds has to be counted after operation. Before operation some weeds has to be counted and after operation also you have to count. First you have to count uh, by using square rings of 13 to 30 centimeter. Uh, so before operations of the um, moldable plow you have to count the uh, at least 5 uh, places from the randomly 5 places you have to take from the field which is to be uh, tested or operated. Before uh, operation of the implement you have to take 5 uh, readings. Uh, so here the number of uh, weeds you can count. Number of weeds you can count and you can take the average of that one. So soil inversion will be and then after the operation you have to take again uh, up from different again uh, 5 uh, because you, you don't remember where you have to take in. So you have to take again 5 uh, places the number of weeds uh, by using that uh, squaring. Okay. So basically the soil inversion I can be calculated in percentage will be equal to number of weeds before the test minus number of weeds after the test divided number of weeds before the test into 100. So that is the percentage of inversion. Then inversion is uh, how much soil, uh, soil is inverted uh, and uh, before actually operation of the uh, moldable plow uh, actually there will be weeds but after the operation the weeds will be covered when the soil is inverted so that means the uh, weeds will be just uh, uh, covered by the soil so that's why the weeds will not be seen if it's a per perfect inversion will be there that's, that's why we count the number of weeds uh, before the test and number of weeds after the test Divide a number of with the before test so you can find out the soil inversion which is used in the formula. Okay, next is the soil pulverization that means how much uh, uh, smooth uh, soil has been uh, means lozenge or you can say uh, the part soil has been uh, has been uh, por por porosity of the soil has been increased or it means there will be lighter lighter the soil. So how much uh, soil is is pulverized? Soil pulverization can be find out by cone penetrometer reading in centimeter this is the, uh, the the parameter is in centimeter so which is after the uh, using the means uh, after plowing so you have to take the penetrometer and uh, uh, whatever the depth so basically this is the penetrometer where actually there is a cone uh, like this is on the tip and there will be one handle or uh, there will be some reading also but uh, in this case either uh, this is one type of cone penetrometer and another is cone penetrometer is uh, here actually the force is calculated where uh, is a cone index but uh, in this case actually you can just uh, find out uh, uh, by using uh, a hammer which is dropped on the um, handle so from a height of one meter basically two uh, two uh, hammer hammers are done continu continuously and it uh, goes some distance into the soil so then the depth of the soil it goes in, uh, inside the soil after hammering uh, is called the soil pulverization. So the depth of penetration after it. So let us uh, have some um, extension of this performance index for solving different problems uh, in particular in the gate. So let us uh, discuss about performance index PI is equivalent to D A I P by D. In this case D is in centimeter A is the effective field capacity that is in hectare per day and I in percentage, P in centimeter, D in uh, kg force per centimeter square. So what we uh, in the uh, get, the problem comes actually a particular implement is having some depth, uh, uh, operation, velocity. So in this case, actually the velocity is not there in the performance index. But if you see carefully, the effective field capacity carries width of the implement and uh, velocity of the implement. So now we will simplify this into uh, width and uh, velocity basically if you see particularly a is equivalent to width into velocity so now let us see uh, incorporating that uh, uh, a instead of a we will put w and p so the formula for that uh, uh, now we will see uh, different uh, units are there so now to make it uniform let us say uh, performance index varies with depth basically the performance index is directly proportional to depth. If depth is increased, 
uh, miss a particular condition if we can give more depth uh, uh, depth of operation is more then the performance index will be more definitely will be happy so that performance index is directly proportional to depth if depth increases performance index increases next performance index is directly proportional to width that means again uh, if width increases width of uh, implement increases uh, for a particular condition then the effective field capacity will in increase because a depends on width so that's that's why for, uh, uh, performance index is directly proportional to width next performance index is directly proportional to velocity because width and velocity multiplication is the effective field capacity so that is there and uh, field efficiency is also there we are uh, not incorporating everything will be so pi also uh, uh, directly proportional to velocity so d and a gone now pi also directly proportional to inversion so inversion in percentage because more inversion of the soil then better the pi next pi also directly proportional to pulverization more more pulverization more uh, grinding of the soil then it's better so that means pi is directly proportional to pulverization next is pi is the indirectly proportional to draft because if draft is increased that means our operation is uh, less efficient that means performance index will decrease so that's why performance index is indirectly proportional to one by draft so if you incorporate all these things then the pi or performance index will be equal to k k is uh, k into d uh, then width into velocity into i is the uh, inversion p is the polarization and d so that means k is called the dimensionless constant for pi so basically k will carry all the units whatever the factor of the unit uh, whatever you factor you can uh, get it so that's why this is very simple uh, understanding to solve uh, the problems related to get okay next uh, let us uh, have a problem then to solve in this way so the post question says a four bottom 45 cm tractor done moldable plow when operating at a speed of 5 km per hour at a plowing depth of 30 cm is encountered with 20 kN of draft when that speed of operation was increased by 20% its required draft was increased by 10% what will be the change of percentage change in its performance index at increased speed so that means initially uh, it was operating at uh, some speed some depth some width uh, because width is same so there is no increase in the in this case so uh, depth uh, in this case the problem says only two things is increased or decreased change that is uh, speed of operation is changed that is uh, increased by 25 percent at 20 percent and its uh, draft is increased by 10 percent then what will be the change of performance so let us say performance in this formula is this one no so initially the performance let it pi one that is k into dw v1 because uh, only velocity and draft is changing so i am uh, keeping others constant it's not saying anything so don't worry about the other things so uh, since they are not increasing so you don't need to calculate everything because a lot of things are there if you calculate then it will be very uh, lengthy things and you don't need things actually it will take a lot of time so what you do just write down pi1 is equal to k into this much so that means other things are constant so v1 and d1 now after increasing or decreasing the uh, second means uh, final one performance index will be k into k will be same d is same uh, because it's not saying anything about depth width is same and uh, velocity uh, is increasing so v2 we are taking then i and p are same and d2 is changing that's why and it's given that speed is increased by 20 percent therefore v1 uh, v2 is equal to 1.2 v when it's 20 percent increase so 1 plus 0.2 1.2 v1 similarly draft is increased by 10 percent that means d2 will be equal to 1.1 d1 so this is the thing only you have to put so that means that's why the percentage change percentage change will be percentage change will be how much that is uh, initial one the k1 uh, sorry this one p uh, so final one is the uh, k d w uh, in case of uh, v, uh, v, v2 you have put 1.2 v1 and in case of d, d1 d2 you put 1.1 d1 then other things because this is final means p i2 minus p i1 divided by p i1 okay then into 100 so that will be the answer that is uh, now what you will do 
if because everything is constant so they will cancel each out then finally it will remain like this 1.2 divided by 1.1 uh, minus 1 divided by 1 into 100 that is the uh, answer will be 9.09 percent increase in the performance index this is very simple actually you don't need to uh, calculate everything it's just uh, uh, whatever the things is increasing or decreasing you have to put into that and you have to find out this is very simple uh, way of solving this problem sometimes it comes in the gate and uh, maybe this time it will come so uh, till then goodbye